This is a production of PBS Charlotte. The following episode of Charlotte, a City of International Success is brought to you by Central Piedmont Community College and viewers like you. Thank you. Hello, I'm Dr. Maha Gingrich. Coming up next on Charlotte, a City of International Success, I will interview Casimiro Liborio. We're going to talk about local steel industry and what it takes to succeed in this industry, especially due to global competition. Stay with us. Welcome to Charlotte, a city of international success. I'm Dr. Maha Gingrich. Today our guest is Casimiro Liborio, and he's the Vice President and General Manager of Gerdau Steel Mill Charlotte. Welcome to our show. Thank you very much for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure having you. I am really interested, I would like to spend a lot of time in talking about steel mill industry that's here and the impact and some of the things I have learned talking to you before the show totally amazed me. So to start off with, as we always ask, you're originally from Brazil? Correct, from Brazil. And what part of Brazil? It's northeast Brazil. Uh -huh. so it's a small city called Petrolina. Petrolina, the, do they do petrol? No, 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 no. petrol. <laughs> okay. uh, it's an uh, indigenous name from beautiful rock. And basically it's oh. a place uh, where we have a, a river, it's a big river called uh, San Francis uh, River. So it's, it's a very dry area of Brazil. Greatly now because of uh, uh, irrigation, it became a very, very big producer of fruits and, and, and agriculture is very strong there actually. Fruits, I would have never imagined Petrolina. I think I'd, I was just thinking what a standard meaning. But once you explain, that makes perfect sense. That sounds really beautiful. Now, did your uh, parents work in that field or? My dad ended up uh, being a, a fertilizer salesman. And, and oh, which makes was, sense. It, it made a lot of sense. There was a lot of need during that time. Yeah. Because the, the agricultural industry was growing quite fast in that region. So it was. Wow. Was, was very, very good for, for, for us, for, for our it. family. What about your mom? My mom, uh, uh, she was a teacher, like oh. a middle school teacher, uh, and, and basically uh, uh, retired early, like, uh, uh, because we, we, we had to take care of, of, of us, you know. Us? How many of us is she taking care of? Nine. Nine You of have us. nine siblings. A eight siblings. Eight with siblings me, yeah. with you. It is amazing to me. Any woman who can do that and take care of the house and nine children, uh, it is, you know, I have so much respect for uh, that. Absolutely, and, and, and yeah, we, we love her so much because of that. And it was a, 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 a different time. I believe if it was today, we, we, we would not have uh, uh, so, many, so many brothers and, and sisters. But When you have that many, it's like joint families. When you have families together, people together in the same house, uh, you just learn to share and you learn to play with them and you have, you know, the, you, they become your best friends just growing up, I would think. That's, that's very true. Is it what it is yes, in your case? Yes, very true. So you went to school there, obviously. Yes, I went to school there. So uh, again, it, it's, uh, it's uh, Northeast Brazil. It's, it's, a, it's a very uh, uh, undeveloped area of, sure. of Brazil. So it's, it's the p poorest area mm -hmm. of the country and uh, because of the climate as well. So very, very hard on, on, on the people. And, and, uh, and over the years, there was a lot of migration, uh, folks coming in yeah. to the big cities of, uh, of Brazil, you know, to find uh, a better uh, living conditions. That makes and, sense. But, but still, it's growing and it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a nice area where I, I, could, uh, I could live for, for about nine years. We moved to the capital of the state, which okay. is at, uh, uh, at the coast. So it's okay. uh, Recife, uh, which in the Portuguese meaning of reef. So because there is a reef barrier uh, there that was used for port uh, uh, when the Portuguese colonized Brazil. So it, it was because uh, in, in my original city, there was no universities. 
oh. no, no, no colleges, and and uh, and the the and my parents they they really wanted uh, us to to yeah. have a good education, so they moved to to Recife. Wow! And, so they and believed my, in education. For you. Yes, absolutely. And and my dad was traveling to back to to the region where we, we where, where okay. I was born, to to sell fertilizer at that point, and and, and so it was a lot of traveling, but and we stayed. Uh, there, study and, and, and try to, to Now, I know that uh, public education is free uh, uh, the, there. The, uh, uh, it's possible we have uh, public universities that are, are free. Oh, really? Public universities, yes. Higher education it, is higher free. Higher education is free. And, and there is one university basically per, or in some cases, mm -hmm. more than one, depending on the, the city. Yeah. And where uh, you, you have to apply and, and, and there is a, a very competitive test. Oh. And if you, you pass, you, you're able to get a free education and, and high quality education because the wow. federal government uh, spends a lot of time. Basic education is, is, is basically free yeah. uh, if you want to, but it, it's not good. Okay. And, and uh, so you, you, you have to try to have some... Uh, uh, like some some school. better education and there are a lot of options for uh, schools that are paid so okay. the the religious inst institutions or or in some yeah. cases uh, uh, um, institutions that you pay and, and you get a better you know better teachers and, and, and I would think it would cost a lot for your parents That's it, it was a lot of effort from from my, my parents to to put us through uh, having good education yeah. and be able to to uh, uh, succeed in, in in life, it's a very big commitment that you have to make. And uh, and I believe that the move from a city where it's a small, you basically know everyone, right, and uh, you have all the support you need to the capital of the state mm. that you you basically are, you know, as a family you are on your own and and oh, and, wow. and and you have to discover all the new things with nine kids, and my youngest one at that time was, was less than one year old. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so uh, it was, was very tough, but commendable. Yeah. And uh, we moved there when my, my oldest brother was uh, one year, was a senior, like oh, okay. entering the senior year in, in high school, uh, and to be able to... That's uh, a big move in many ways. Yes. So you're saying it's not only a, a sacrifice on your uh, in a parent's side, trying to really support and but they believe so much in your education they wanted to make that change absolutely and then um you had to i mean all the children and the parents had to make a lot of adjustments because it's very different from that cozy environment that you were born and brought up in for nine years what inspired you to go to college i mean uh, obviously your parents believe in education yes but to select your fields. What, yeah, what? Like my, my, my mom was, was, was a teacher. Oh, my yeah. dad had only a, a high school education or, or less, I believe. And, and, and he had some, some jobs that, for example, as a supermarket manager. And I believe that uh, inside them, they wanted us to have a, a better future. Yeah. And I think uh, the, the inspiration that they that, that my, my dad brought to me was, and, and my mom as well, was never to be afraid of work. So work is, is something wow. that, that makes you, you, you be a better person. And if you have better education, of course you're going to have the opportunity to have better uh, work, better jobs. Yeah. And uh, so this is where uh, um, I, I believe was, was the big push we had. What a great uh, value system and inspiration. Don't be afraid of work because you know, if you have the right balance of education, personality, qualities, everything that comes together, you know, you will succeed. And that's what you're saying is a message there. So you went to uh, college. Uh, what college. degree did you pursue? I, I did mechanical engineering. Okay, and uh, just uh, to, go, to go back a little bit, I'm the fifth in my family. So we had my, my, my older brothers and sisters and, and four ahead of me and four uh, yeah. uh, uh, after me. Uh, the, my first uh, uh, brother uh, 
went to school to be a computer science uh, oh, okay. uh, major. major. My second uh, went to be a civil engineer. Mm. Uh, engineer. And my sister, uh, uh, she's a doctor. She went to, oh, wow. to, to, to go to medical school. And uh, my brother before me was a civil engineer as, as well. well. So I said, I don't want to be another civil engineering <laughs> engineer <laughs> yeah. In, yeah. In, in my family. So I, I, I was looking for some opportunities. I always liked uh, um, the mechanics of it, you know, the, the, the how things work. And, and yeah. it was very interesting. I remember well uh, living as, as, as a young kid in Petrolina yeah. that uh, uh, I would uh, take my bike, go to the airport, which was very close at that time. There was no walls and, and fences and stuff. Yeah. So you could get very close to the, to the, the, to the mail Mm. Uh, air mail plane that was coming, I don't know, twice a week for, for the city. Oh, wow. And uh, I could be fascinated for, for that, for how things work, but also where it could take you, right? Where those airplanes could take oh, you, you know. Wow. Looking so you're about, really dreaming uh, big. <laughs> yes. And uh, so, and then I, I, I looked at the fields and, and, and I felt that mechanical engineering could be something good for me. I always lo like look at these it. things and also yeah. look at industries we have in, in our region. It's not a very industrialized mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, region, but there was a lot of sugarcane uh, uh, distilleries and, and, okay. and, and, and mills. And I say, okay, maybe it's something that, that will interest me. And uh, so I, I applied and, and I, I, I was uh, approved. It's competitive, and, uh, you got it. It's very in. competitive. Yeah, that, at that time was, was 18 to 1, 18 people oh, to 1. Wow. So what was your first job after you graduated? I was uh, working as an intern part-time at ExxonMobil, actually. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Uh, petroleum company. Mm -hmm. And uh, at uh, a big, uh, not, like, not, not, not a big, but at a uh, tank farm at, yeah. uh, at our city. So there was receiving... Uh, uh, gasoline and, and other uh, oil and some other yeah. uh, uh, products into the, the farm and then distributing to the gas stations. So my job there was to, uh, my, with my engineering expertise, but also learning how the business worked. I had my graduation, they offered me a full-time job there. Oh, nice. And, uh, but I decided to follow a technical career because Spent five years, uh, five year, uh, uh, the internship, in, in, in engineering and all that. Uh, uh, school, yeah, and then I, I really, in the, the, the job at ExxonMobil was more administrative than than, than anything. Oh, I see. So, okay, okay. And then I, I I pursued uh, uh, had an opportunity to go to a company, another company uh, that is a cement factory actually. But a unit of that uh, that factory that built an, an, an equipment for the mm -hmm. cement industry, so I went there to be a project uh, uh, engineer. You know, the oh. designing of, of things and, and, yeah. and make sure uh, things were uh, according to to the drawings and, and and then the manufacturing process as well. So put your education to work. Yes. Directly. Absolutely. And that 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 makes sense for you to switch that because you can actually, everything you have learned, instead of doing administrative positions, you know, you can actually make it happen, visualize and implement what you have learned. Uh, then what did you do? And then uh, shortly after that, yeah. uh, there was uh, an opportunity at Gerdau, the company that I oh, work today. Wow. So this was a long time ago. So now actually in, in um, this this year is going to be uh, 28, 28 years. 28 years with the company. For, for, for Congratulations! Company. Oh, thank you very much. Wow, and, what uh, an achievement! Th there was an opportunity, yeah. and uh, was in in the engineering field. You mm. know where I could really, you know, I, I I I was good at that time at drawings, and I decided to go for it, and uh, was uh, uh, selected as a. Uh, Project engineer. A, a project engineer. It's a management associate at that time. Okay. And uh, so this There was, you are. Yeah, yes. your journey begins. When did you meet your wife and uh, how did you get married on that? So actually it was, was before I graduated. Yeah. Um, at, at that time our engineering classes were very 
technical, very, very concentrated on, on, on the, the calculus, the, 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 oh, gosh, the, the resistance, the, the, the resistance. math and, and the materials and stuff. And, and I was uh, uh, feeling the need for the, the informatics, the, the, the computer, yeah, computer science side that was it. very at the very beginning stages at that mm -hmm. time. So I decided to apply to a second college okay. while I was doing engineering and it was computer science. Mm -hmm. So I applied to, to the same test, I passed and I started a computer science uh, oh, college. Oh wow, busy. And then <laughs> this is where I met my, my lovely wife uh, there. She, was, uh, uh, she passed and she was starting uh, the, the uh, college for computer science. Oh, and she graduated uh, five years later and, uh, and then I, at some point in time, was so hard to, to manage those two schools at the same time yeah, I would that I decided so. to drop off the, the drop part. out of the computer science yeah. and concentrate on the engineering. I know at some point you moved to Salvador? Yes, I moved to another city. With your city. family? Yeah, and it was yeah. only my wife and I. Okay. And uh, so, which was a, a very uh, interesting and challenging move. Really? Um, you know, she, my wife, you know, we are nine in my house. My wife is the only child. Oh. So, can you imagine, <laughs> you know, to take, totally take the, the only child and move to another city. Oh. So, it was, was, was very hard on her family uh, I, and, and, and hard on her as yes. well because she had all the life very well established yeah. there. She had a, a very good job. Mm. In, a, in, a, in a supermarket, in the computer uh, uh, yeah. science uh, 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 field department, and, wow. in, you know, working on the, uh, the, the, the credit system that that supermarket was just implementing. Oh, wow. And uh, interesting job, and, and then she had to, to move with that and move with me to Salvador. Sacrifice on her side. And yeah. very, very uh, difficult uh, yeah. uh, for us, but, but good because Salvador was, was, a, was a very nice city is still in the northeast region of brazil okay. but it's a one hour flight uh, 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 away from from our uh, original yeah. city and then so you was, enjoyed uh, your stay in salvador we we did we did enjoy our two daughters uh, were born there oh okay so that's uh, that's uh, that's a good thing family time yes and um so it was a, a lot of work you know gerdau just acquired a company a company that used to be run by the government in, oh, wow. um, yeah. in, in Salvador and we had to go there and rebuild and so it was a, a lot of work. A lot of work. So you had your family and then you're working very hard. How did you end up in the United States? Well, after uh, this, uh, my initial work in, 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 in was engineering was right. uh, to, to put things together, which, you know, it's, it's a field that uh, you it's not a very specific field to mm -hmm. the steel industry. Uh, during my stay in Salvador, I was invited by my boss and he said, well, you have to move to production so we can be more specialized in production. Yeah. And I said, I don't want to, I, I love what I do. But he <laughs> yeah. said, no, go, the company is going to grow and we need, uh, uh, we need more, we're going to need more capacity. Mm -hmm. in, uh, in the, the production side. So I went to uh, uh, one, uh, the area that we call the rolling mill, which okay. I never worked there before, wow. but was very interesting where I could really uh, be in a, 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 a new set of eyes, make an impact in, yeah, in, in, yeah, that, uh, in that production area. So um, I want to talk uh, really about the steel industry that we have now in Charlotte. You know, what year, when did you come to Charlotte? So I, I came to Charlotte from, uh, actually my first move to the United States was to Knoxville, Tennessee. Okay. Okay, so I worked then in Salvador, went to production, uh, uh, and then we, we did really a, a very nice job in that rolling mill where it became one of the best uh, uh, rolling mills in, in, the, in our company. And, uh, and there was an acquisition of a, a, a group here in the United okay. States. Okay, yeah with the four locations, Charlotte being one of them, okay. Knoxville, Tennessee, uh, in, in Jackson, Tennessee, in Jacksonville, Florida. And when they made that acquisition, uh, after that, they, they, they asked if we, I, I was willing to move to the, to the United States, not, not as a, a temporary work, not as two years 
mm-hmm. and then go back, back. but permanently. permanently. And uh, I said, yeah, I can do it. And I, yeah. I, I, I moved to, to Knoxville and uh, spent six years in Knoxville. Okay, and then and came to Charlotte. And then I moved to Charlotte. So tell me about the steel industry because I know your company uses recycling materials and that whole process is fascinating to me. Can you quickly share about uh, what does your company do and then also what kind of education people need to have to work in a business like this and what kind of qualities and personalities they need to have to succeed, not just be sure. in it, but to succeed in this field. Right. So, so our company, it's, it's basically, it's been in, in, in business for, for many years, mm-hmm. for 115 years actually. Oh, wow. <laughs> and, uh, and the whole history is based on making steel. Uh, we, we, our process is, is simpler because it's, it's the mini mill process yeah. and it's based on recycling metal into, into products, right, that we, we, we sell um, all over, you know, for several industries, the uh, housing industry, industry in general, okay. uh, automotive and, and some other things. Uh, it depends on the mill because it's, it's, it's a very capital intensive uh, 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 industry oh, okay. that and makes it, sense. it depends on what product you're going to make. Okay. So you, 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 you cannot make all types of products in one plant. It needs to be uh, certain uh, uh, ranges of so products. So what do you make here in Charlotte? We make, make small products from uh, half inch all the way to two inch, you know, rounds, squares, uh, angles, channels, and... Uh, using the scrap metal? Yeah, using the scrap metal. Okay. So this is what our company does. So actually we are one of the biggest recyclers in the world, if you That's look at the size like. of our That's what it like. That is amazing to me. So it, it, it's, a, it's a huge, a, a tremendous effort to, a to, to recycle. Uh, things and still make money on that. Yes. Uh, the steel industry is being very challenged by uh, uh, the overcapacity in the world. Oh. Over the last uh, 15 years, there was a lot of capacity being added, especially in China, for example. Okay. Right? Where That's they a produce, global competition. They produce a, a tremendous amount of steel oh, that wow. they use there, but also when the economy there is slowing down, they are trying to export all over the world. Okay. And we have competition with companies. We can, we can deal with competition. I think yeah. we, can, we, we can deal with that. Uh, sometimes compete with governments is difficult. So yeah. this yes. is where we need to think about the, 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 the impact we have in our community. Because sure. in, in, in not, not only us, but always still making, facility, yeah. still making industry, industry in, in the United States, uh, because we, we employ quite a bit of people yeah. in our region here, we, the economic impact is about 350 families that we oh, wow. directly uh, uh, have an impact in, in yeah. terms of if it is recycling or, or our own employees. Yes. And I think it's something that we need strategically to think about the future. Yeah. So yeah. what kind of qualities uh, do people need to have? Do they need to have education? You, is it we, specific engineering degrees? Yes, to, to be hired by our company. If it is a, a, a operator position, it, we require a high school degree minimum, right? Gotcha. To leadership positions, it's college degrees are, are essential. Okay. Okay, and we try to, to be, be more focused on the technical part, on the engineering uh, aspects. Uh, uh, because it's, it's, a quali- it's something that you're going to need in the future. It, but it's not only the only field. We also have some other fields that we are interested in, okay. our finance, in our, sure, in our sure. HR, the HR and, some and other the things. other supportive fields. But for our location, which is more operational, it's, it's, it's more the technical portion. Okay. And we want people with good leadership skills as far as, as, as being able to listen to, to the operators, have good observation of what's yeah. going on and good analytical skills as well, so you can uh, uh, find out what problems are, 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 mm-hmm. being, are being caused and, 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 and be able to find the causes of those problems and then uh, uh, make our process more efficient well, that makes and be more competitive in this That's very wonderful. challenging market. Well, obviously you came to this position by having diverse experience having patience, learning the industry, doing anything and everything to succeed. So thank you so much for sharing your story and thank you for being on our show. Thank you for allowing me to tell my story.
Oh, thank you. And thank you for watching Charlotte, a city of international success. I'm Dr. Maha Gingrich. Please join us again next time right here on WTVI PBS Charlotte. of PBS Charlotte.